First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming to the Capitol today on a prestigious month, actually, for uh, foster care awareness. So we're joined here with Community Health Resources, we better known as CHR, is one of the most comprehensive behavioral health providers in Connecticut, committed to helping people find real hope for real life through a wide array of high quality mental health, substance use, child welfare, foster care, supportive housing services, CHR served more than 1,600 individuals last year through 80 programs in 32 locations throughout Central and Eastern Connecticut. As May is National Foster Care Month, we are so pleased to be joined today by the staff of CHR's foster care programs who work every day to help children find a sense of stability and a place to call home. At any given time, there are thousands of children living in foster care throughout Connecticut, many having been removed from their homes because of neglect, abuse, or abandonment. CHR's care, foster care programs provide support for families fostering children with emotional or behavioral problems, helping build safe and loving homes. Every child deserves to be able to grow, learn, and dream in a supportive and loving environment. I'm grateful to the staff from CHR who work tirelessly to help foster children in Connecticut realize their full potential. I encourage all of us to reflect this month on how we can work together to ensure that every child has a safe, permanent family and the opportunities for a happy future. I'd like to now introduce Alicia Goodduty, a Vice President, Business Development and Communications with CHR. Thank you so much. Good morning, and thank you so much for having us here today at the Capitol to talk about um, the work that we do in this very historic and exciting month where we recognize foster families and foster children and all of the people in their lives that have helped support these kids. Um, the CHR, as Representative Ackert explained, is a very comprehensive large behavioral health care provider. We serve 16,000 people every year, and that's children, adults, and families, and we provide services throughout all of Central and Eastern Connecticut. We run over 80 programs and have 32 locations and are supported by 650 exceptional staff. Um, and you know, our real philosophy is that real life brings with it real challenges, and it's our goal to help people find real hope despite those challenges. Um, this month is a time where we recognize that there's young people in our communities who need our collective support to live lives of stability, happiness, and health. This is a time to recognize the thousands of families that have stepped up to support children in need as foster parents, to acknowledge the mentors, the uh, teachers, the supporters in the community, and also to think about the many children that are still in need of a family that really are looking for somebody to open their hearts and their homes to support these children. Nearly 400,000 children in the United States are in foster care. Many of these children will be reunited with their families to, provide, to find a permanent home they will enter kinship care, they will have guardians, or they will be adopted. Sadly, however, there are 24,000 young people that age out of the system that never find a foster family or that permanent home for them. Every child deserves a sense of stability, deserves to feel loved, and deserves a safe and nurturing home. This responsibility rests not only in the Department of Children and Families, in CHR and agencies like us, or in those already engaged in supporting children. All of us have a role to play in supporting our youth so that they may live happy and healthy futures. 